Hey guys, what up? It's Clint here, or KaliWX. This will be a new up-to-date, I think, my third walk around of my 2014 Subaru WRX hatchback. Now, I'm going to break it up into different sections, so if you guys don't want to see a certain part, I'm going to go ahead and put the time when I start each part down in the description below. We're going to start off with engine mods, performance-wise, then we're going to move on to interior, then we're going to move on to suspension, and, and then from there we're going to do exterior. So performance the engine parts, interior, um, suspension, tires, stuff like that, and then exterior. So four different sections in this video. I'll go ahead and break them up for you guys. Let's go ahead, start with the engine. Let's go ahead, pop the hood. And the first thing you'll see is a big ass leaf. Um, shit. All right, so I'll go ahead and start with this. This is a new, it's the Grim Speed top mount intercooler. It's the non-painted black one. Over here we have the AIG air oil separator. It's a tight fit. And what you can't see underneath that is also a nameless performance heat shield and a parent pitch stop mount. You can kind of see the pitch stop mount through there, but not really. Next up we have the Cobb SF intake with box. Um, what you also can't see is the Doucheworks DW65C fuel pump, the Injector Dynamics 1300 CC injectors, and that's mainly it, plus an E85 tune. We also have in the engine these um, Killer B Motorsports radiator and pulley shroud, powder coated Kawasaki green. And moving on, we also have the Turbo Smart, Turbo Smart Compact blow off valve. We also have right here the Grim Speed electronic boost control solenoid, the three port to help maintain boost. Moving on to the exhaust of the car, which also is part of this is part of the power and engine mods, is a nameless performance catted downpipe, divorce wastegate. So the nameless performance downpipe paired to a name or a custom three inch non resonated midpipe to the nameless performance four inch tip stagger double wall muffler delete so basically my exhaust only has a cat in it so it is very loud and then I guess we'll consider this also part of engine management is the Cobb access port version 3 but that mainly does it for engine performance mods stuff like that nothing too crazy stock turbo for all those that, like, that are going to ask stock unequal length headers and stock up pipe tgv deletes and i use modal 5w40 oil after i pulled in the car i realized i forgot to mention that i also own the exeti stage one clutch and organic flywheel as the clutch on this car didn't last very long after i got e85 tune so that does it now we're going to go ahead and move on to the interior of the car. So in the back we have the Sparco harness bar that I painted Kawasaki green with a GoPro mount that's currently being used as a hat holder. And then we also have WeatherTech mats front and rear. And we have the Sparco harnesses that are wrapped around the harness bar. We'll go ahead and move to the front. Where you guys can see that I have the Sparco seats, Sparco Evo to be exact, with the Sparco four point harnesses, the Sparco side mounts, Sparco base, and Sparco sliders. While moving in, we have all LED interior lights. So the dome, the map, and the trunk. We also have an Alcantara armrest paired to a legacy GT center console so it has this nice slider concealment area where you can store your cups and everything and then a bigger coin slot an Alcantara e-brake boot an Alcantara shift boot with a custom that I did plasti dipped center console bezel whatever you want to call it with green in there and a WRX cutout I have a DIY video if you guys want to see how to do this on top of this shifter, we have a Lathworks. I forget the exact one it is, but it has a brass bushing inside, so it's heavier. 
Underneath we have the Carpoy short throw shifter with Cobb front and rear bushings, so that helps improve. We have stickers that I designed, which are also for sale, so DM me on Instagram. It's the rising sun and it says rumble. Let me go ahead and take a seat. Inside we have a Pioneer BHS 8500, I think, head unit with a backup camera. It's really nice. The Cobb Access Port version 3, like I said before. A hardwired Escort Redline radar detector with an Amazon wide view mirror. I'm going to go ahead and move to the other side so I can show you the wheel and the gauges. The GT spec D-shaped steering wheel with a overlay overlay from JDM Fanatic Vinyl Fanatics, sorry. We have the AFR AM wideband gauge. Come on, focus. And the AM oil pressure gauge. And the thing that I use to hold my access port on is a steely ball mount. Much better than the crappy one they give you and I also have one over here just for my phone like so so for GPS Bluetooth stuff like that it's easy accessible I don't have to look down stuff like that I can easily see. forgot to mention guys that inside when you turn the lights on I also installed the red underglow for your feet so now what we're gonna do oh also just some air fresheners to make the car smell good so now what we're gonna do is since we're done with the interior we're going to go ahead and move on to suspension upgrades. I guess I got to show you stuff in the trunk too. Um, I always carry a jacket, have my old injectors, I don't know why. And I also have a microfiber and my external cable for the GoPro. So now for suspension of the car, the white line for sway bars with carpoy end links, front and rear, 22 front, 20 rear, we have the ISC N1 coilovers, 6K and 4K. I got a package deal with them, so I got the coilovers with, I don't know if you guys will see, it's kind of dark, with the lower control arms. There you go, kind of the gold. If you guys follow Evan Shanks, you'll know he just got some. So basically that's it for the bolt-on suspension, and then we have the wheels, which are the Work in Motion XD9s, 18 by 9s, 38 offset, wrapped in the Hankook RS3s, 275, no, sorry, 265 35R18s. And suspension wise, that is it. So we're going to move on to the brakes, which I basically have the stock brakes, both the HPS Hawk pads and the stop tech stainless steel lines. Brakes will hopefully be my next upgrade. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the biggest part of my car, which is exterior. So I don't even know where to start. We'll go ahead and just start from the back of the car and work our way forward. So here we have the red overlays, which are a must, and then also smoked inlay overlays, whatever you wanna call those parts to match the wrap of the car. We have again, the overlay for the badges, a rear backup camera, a OEM bumper guard. This diffuser is made by a guy named Contender8 on Instagram. Go ahead and hit him up. We have Rally Armor mud flaps, some stickers to add some more horsepower, uh, Japanese for Rumble, AA Motorworks, Macaw, because that's the name of my car, and Hoonigan. The Perrin Wing Riser, which really helps bring the car out. Pain to install though. A black gloss mat, sorry, a black gloss roof wrap with a Perrin Shorty antenna. And of course, the car color itself, which is a matte dark gray. We have window tint, which is 5% all around. Debadged rear with a flex fuel badge. Oh, I also smoked these. Um, since I'm sponsored by Star Tire Stickers, I need to throw a sticker on here. So there it is. Instagram and YouTube stickers. The OEM Rain Guards from SubaruUSA.com. Tire stickers themselves. They're an inch and a quarter tall, I believe. I have an install video of that too. 
We have base in our side skirts with a no step sticker just because people always tend to step on those when getting out. This was the first mod and vinyl work I ever did. Carbon fiber um, B pillar wrap. STI mirrors. Black side WRX logo, not Plasti dipped. Although these are Plasti dipped. Um, the side bumper vents, a base in our front lip, Plasti dip fog bezels, and actual bought the WRX fog lights because this is a base model. A LOL at your VTEC license plate with the Grimspeed license plate rel relocator kit. A WRX front plate delete. Once again, a badge overlay and super tone hella horns painted green, blacked out front emblem, and then of course, as you guys can see, the painted headlights. And just, oh again, want some stickers, you Myron, and a Batman minion. Actually, I think this was the first sticker I threw on the car and it was a gift. We also have a matte black roof or a window visor that blocks the sun. And overall that does it. So now what I'm gonna do is turn on some of the lights for you guys. Moving on to the lights on the outside, they're all LED. So we have an LED turn signal and I'll go ahead and throw on the LED reverse signals or uh, sorry, the LED reverse lights soon. We have LED switchbacks. We have the uh, LED just regular old headlight, LED yellow fog, but you can also change that out to white with just a casing. And then I also have LED high beam bulbs or low beam. So what I'll go ahead and do is throw the car into reverse so you can see the reverse lights. So as you can see, they're pretty bright. The smoke does make them not as bright as they usually are, but they are still bright nonetheless. I'll go, go ahead and show you guys what the backup camera looks like. It just has the lines. It doesn't move when you turn the wheel. It's not that fancy. But I believe that basically covers my entire car if I forgot something, I'll make sure to throw it in at the end. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video of me giving you a walk around of my car. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Also make sure to follow me on Snapchat, which is Clint Fletcher. And if you don't follow me on Instagram already, that's Clint Fletcher, or sorry, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that right now. It's cfletch101. Now, this is how the car sits at April 10th, 2016. I'm sure things will change throughout the weeks, months, years that I own it, but this is a little update as my walk around videos tend to be the most popular videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Until next time guys, peace out. But I'm gonna leave you guys with me back into the garage and it's a pretty cold start.